Hello, this is Dan Morgan, Service Delivery Manager for Beyond 20, and today we're going to take a look at a question we received on our YouTube channel. And that question is, can I modify the standard email that comes out of the file menu or the file send to customer? So let's take a look at where that is and we'll answer that question. If I go into the client tool and click on file, I've got two email options here, send email and email the current customer. So the short answer is no, I can't modify what one step is used in the background to do that. But that is a very, very simple one step that comes up. So let me click on the first one here, send email. That's just going to bring up a blank email. This is the standard format that you'll get with pretty much any email that you send out from a one step. So really the only thing we can change here is who we can send this from but then you can put uh, any data in here. So there's nothing that's pre-formatted. So it's really just a quickie, simple, pop this thing up for the technician, let them put their notes in, let them click on or type in who this is going to go to, and then send that message and it gets journaled, um, <clears throat> excuse me, against the object that you're on, or in this case, I can attach to the recipients. The other one is, if I go to file, email current customer, I'm gonna click on that, but I'm gonna get an error because I'm not actually on any record that has a customer. So if I was to drill down into, let's say, one of these incidents, the incident does have a requester. It does have a customer ID. So if I use that secondary email now, file, email current customer, it is going to send that to Jamie. So let's click here. It goes to the ticket and it grabs Jamie's email address and it throws that into the to field. And then, again, the technician can type in whatever subject they want, type in the body of the email, click on send, and it's going to get attached to Jamie. If I was to go to something like a change request, change requests also have a requester, so they also have a customer ID. So in this case, it would go to Josh. So if I click on file, email the current customer, it's going to pop up with Josh's name. Now, if I try to send an email to something like a problem record or based on a problem record, the problem doesn't have a requester. So there is really no cust ID in there. There is an owner, but there is not a requester. So if I click file, email current customer, I'm going to get that same error I had at the beginning as if I was on a record that didn't have a customer because, again, the problem does not. So any object in ShareWell that actually has a customer or a requester, you can use that second email option and that will automatically grab the customer's email address, put it into the email, and then when you send or click send, it's going to attach it to that customer. Now, of course, you've got the option to uncheck that attached to recipients, and then it's just an email that goes out, but then really there's no record of it. It doesn't get journaled against anything. So I think it's a good process or a good practice to keep that checked, so then you've got a record attached to that customer's profile. So again, the answer is we cannot modify what one steps are used for these two options, but it just pops up a very simple email. So really, you should never have to change that function or that process in the background. Everything happens once that email comes up, then you can put whatever you want to in that email, have it go out, and then you have the option to attach it to the recipient if you want to. Oh, my God.